G'day, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be unboxing this little beast. Well, rather a big beast. <laughs> the Quantum Maverick XT Flux. Made by HPI, written down here somewhere. Anyway, uh, I've had this for quite a while now. I've actually got a few more to unbox, similar type thing. Um, so I won't spend too much time on it uh, because they've actually changed things. So if you're gonna go and buy one, things will be different. Uh, basically, this has got a 45 amp ESC and I believe the new ones are 80 amp, somewhere there. And the new one's got um, better axles and things like that. Now these go for around $370, 360 to 380, well under 400. Um, I got this from uh, Hobbies Direct fast shipping and all that good stuff. So we'll have a quick look at, at the box and uh, then we'll crack it open. So uh, looking up close, you can see 110 scale, four wheel drive, water resistant. And we've got a pre-painted body, as you can see, ready to run and it's brushless, off-road of course. And uh, yeah, you get a 2.4 gigahertz radio with it. Anyway, so I have a quick look around the box. There's nothing really uh, special about it. <laughs> it's basically just a box. You got the specs and stuff on the side there. Alrighty, so we'll crack it open. So looking inside, you got your car there. Beautiful. And over here on the right, we've got the uh, the radio and we've got the instructions and stuff in there. So we'll get that out and have a gander. Now inside the box, of course, you get your car. Very nice. And you get your little wrench and antenna tube and a pretty gold anodized motor heat sink. Uh, it's recommended if you use uh, 3S, but I'll just put it on anyway. Run it on 2S or 3S. And naturally you get your transmitter and you get some instructions and you get a couple of spare stickers. Alrighty, we'll have a look at the car. Now looking at the car, as you can see, it's a pretty cool looking beast. I think it looks pretty tough. So we'll get the body off and have a look underneath. But first we'll have a quick look at the body. And there it is pre-painted or, or printed, whatever they call it these days, when they uh, do it this way. Oh, it looks pretty good. Seems, uh, it's thick enough. It's not, it's not extremely thick, but it's not thin either. So that's a good thing. Now looking at the chassis, we'll start off with the uh, pillow ball suspension. So that's easy, easily adjusted, just through the wheel, beautiful. We've got uh, CVDs in the front there too. Very nice. And the shocks are plastic body with alloy tops, oil filled. They're quite stiff. Should be good for jumps. So that's the same front and rear, same shocks. On the rear, there's only dog bones. No CVDs on the rear. And you've got a nice wheelie bar there. So we can get some wheelies happening. Wing looks pretty cool, I think. Now, looking at the uh, the internals, we've got a Metal Gear servo that's water resistant. And we've got our uh, receiver in there with the, uh, the cover on. I believe it's a waterproof receiver, but not 100% sure. And we've got our waterproof ESC, 45 amp. And we've got a 3660 3300 kV brushless motor. Spur gear and pinions all covered there, of course. Got the aluminium motor mount, very nice. And the battery straps are Velcro, of course. Got the Dean's plug on the front there for the battery. Pretty standard size uh, battery tray. Not adjustable, as far as I can tell. Nope, but that's all right. We'll try a battery in, in for size. All righty, so the battery fits in. That's a 3S hard case. Yeah, there's even a little bit of room at the back. That's good. 
And while I was at it, I put the alloy heat sink on, on for the motor. Uh, just clips on, too easy. I don't plan on running 2S very often, if at all. So yeah, I'll need the heat sink. So looking at the wheels, got foam inserts on these treads tires. I think the wheels look pretty cool too. Nice compound on the tires, it's quite grippy. And inside we've got a steel shaft up the center, steel prop shaft, and metal gears in the diffs. Now I fitted the antenna, it has a little grub screw in here to hold the antenna tube. So you only want basically this clear part sticking out, that's the only bit that receives anything. So I poked a little bit of the wire down inside the box here and put the screw in of course and I've bent it back a little bit rather than cutting it I've just bent it back so it fits under the body nicely so we'll have a look at the transmitter now all right now looking at the transmitter we'll get this bit of plastic off there we go yeah, it looks pretty cool it's got everything you need on it so we've got the power on the back there and underneath takes four double A's too easy there we go and you got uh what do we got here channel two trim channel one trim and you got your dual rate right there now under the lid here we've got our channel reversing for both channels and we've got our throttle and steering epa switches or dials right there and down the bottom we've got our little bind switch in case you need to bind it again wheel feels pretty good got a nice foam on there Got everything you need. The trigger actually feels a little bit tight for my finger anyway, but that's okay. It'll be fine. So I've put some batteries in there. There we go. Turn him on. And there we go. Little beep, the red light's on. We're good to go. Well, that's our Maverick Quantum XT Flux. I'm hoping to get it out tomorrow. I think tomorrow for a run. Should be good, so I'll charge me battery up and uh, yeah, we'll be on our way. Yeah, it should be fun, I reckon. Pretty cool little beast. Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumb up. If you're new here, subscribe, that'd be awesome. And catch you next time.